Imagine a time when all the land on Earth was not scattered as it is today, but rather fused together into one immense supercontinent. This was Pangaea, a colossal landmass that dominated the planet during the late Paleozoic and early Mesozoic eras, from about 335 million to 175 million years ago. The story of Pangaea is not just a tale of ancient rocks and distant eras. It's a testament to the restless, ever-changing nature of our planet and to the ingenuity of scientists who piece together the puzzle of Earth's deep past. The name Pangaea comes from the Greek pan, meaning all, and Gaia, meaning Earth. Literally, it means all the Earth, a fitting name for a supercontinent that once gathered nearly all of the planet's land into one vast expanse. Picture an Earth where you could, in theory, walk from what is now North America, across what would become Europe and Asia, and down into Africa and South America, all without ever crossing an ocean. The formation of Pangaea was not a sudden event. It was the result of hundreds of millions of years of slow, almost imperceptible movement, known as continental drift. Earth's crust is not a single solid shell, but rather a jigsaw of massive plates that float atop the semi-fluid layer of the mantle below. Over time, these plates shift and slide, driven by forces deep within the planet. Sometimes they move apart, creating new ocean basins. Other times, they collide, pushing up mountain ranges or welding continents together. The assembly of Pangaea began as earlier continents, Laurentia, Baltica, Siberia, Gondwana, and others, gradually converged. By about 335 million years ago, these separate landmasses had merged into a single supercontinent, stretching from pole to pole. Pangaea's interior was so vast that much of it was far from the moderating influence of the oceans, leading to extreme climates, scorching deserts and frigid interiors, punctuated by massive mountain chains formed as continents collided. But the story of Pangaea is not just about its formation, it is equally about its breakup. Around 175 million years ago, during the Jurassic period, the forces that had drawn the continents together began to pull them apart. Pangaea started to rift and fracture, and over millions of years, it split into two giant landmasses, Laurasia in the north, which would become North America, Europe, and Asia, and Gondwana in the south, destined to become South America, Africa, Antarctica, India, and Australia. This monumental breakup set the stage for the world as we know it today, with its distinct continents and oceans. The theory of Pangaea and the process of continental drift were not always accepted as fact. In the early 20th century, a German meteorologist named Alfred Wegener proposed the idea that the continents had once been joined together and had since drifted apart. He pointed to the jigsaw-like fit of South America and Africa, the matching rock formations and mountain ranges found on different continents, and, perhaps most compellingly, the fossil evidence. On the shores of both South America and Africa, paleontologists discovered identical fossils of extinct reptiles like Mesosaurus, a freshwater creature that could not have swum across a vast ocean. Similarly, fossils of Lystrosaurus, a land-dwelling reptile, were found scattered across Africa, India, and Antarctica. These remarkable discoveries made little sense if the continents had always been separated by oceans. But if the continents had once been joined in a supercontinent, the distribution of these fossils fit perfectly. Wegener's ideas were initially met with skepticism. Many scientists found it difficult to believe that continents could simply plow through the solid rock of the ocean floor. It wasn't until the mid-20th century, with the discovery of seafloor spreading and the development of the theory of plate tectonics, that the mechanism behind continental drift became clear. The movement of tectonic plates, driven by heat and convection currents in the mantle, explained not only the existence of Pangaea, but also the ongoing reshaping of Earth's surface. The breakup of Pangaea had profound consequences for life on Earth. As the continents drifted apart, they carried with them their unique plants and animals, which began to evolve in isolation. This process, known as vicariance, so, led to the incredible diversity of species we see today. For example, 
the separation of South America and Africa allowed marsupials to flourish in Australia, while placental mammals became dominant in the other continents. The shifting continents also altered global climates and ocean currents, triggering new evolutionary pressures and opportunities. Mountains rose and eroded, new coastlines formed, and vast inland seas appeared and disappeared. These environmental changes played a critical role in shaping the course of evolution, driving the rise and fall of countless species. Even today, the legacy of Pangaea is written in the rocks beneath our feet and in the distribution of plants and animals around the globe. The Appalachian Mountains in North America and the Caledonian Mountains in Scotland and Scandinavia were once part of the same mountain chain, formed when the ancient continents collided to create Pangaea. The similar fossils and rock layers found on distant continents are silent witnesses to a time when the world was one. Understanding Pangaea also helps us make sense of natural hazards such as earthquakes and volcanoes. These phenomena are most common along the boundaries of tectonic plates. The same forces that once assembled and then broke apart Pangaea are still at work today, rearranging continents and creating new landscapes. The story of Pangaea is a powerful reminder that our planet is alive and dynamic, constantly changing over geological time. The continents we take for granted as fixed and permanent are, in reality, always on the move. The Atlantic Ocean, which began as a narrow rift between Africa and North America, continues to widen today as the plates drift apart. In millions of years, the continents will look very different, perhaps merging again to form another supercontinent, as they have done many times in Earth's history. Reflecting on Pangaea also invites us to consider our own place in the grand story of Earth. Our species, Homo sapiens, has been around for a mere blink of geological time, yet we live on a planet shaped and reshaped by forces that operate on scales almost beyond our comprehension. The mountains we climb, the valleys we inhabit, even the coal and oil we use for energy, all are the products of ancient processes set in motion when Pangaea was formed and then torn apart. In the end, the story of Pangaea is one of connection and separation, of unity and diversity. It is a story that reaches back hundreds of millions of years, yet continues to unfold beneath our feet and in the landscapes that surround us. By studying Pangaea, we not only unlock the secrets of Earth's deep past, but also gain a deeper appreciation for the dynamic world we call home, a world that is and always has been in motion. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow and keeps you updated with our latest content. Thanks for your support.